Hi there. Uh, my name's Nethis on the Super Games forums. Uh, I'm also known as Pickle John across a lot of the internet. If you play it on Area's Sapphire server, you might know me as John's Amazing. Uh, just for clarity's sake, I'm thinking I'm going to go by Pickle John from here on out. Uh, this is just kind of my introductory video. Um, maybe talk a little bit about what I'm going to be talking about in the videos coming up. Um, and just kind of introducing you to me. Um, I posted a poll on the forums asking if people would be interested in some videos, uh, maybe about stuff that people don't quite know all too well, just, uh, or maybe just alternative builds to common classes. And uh, it seemed to get a decent bit of interest, um, so I'm just kind of doing this, see, uh, see if I can get some feedback on it. Um, as far as my recording goes, I'm just using OBS, which is generally used for streaming, but I, uh, I'm just going to be using it to record. I don't really have any experience with video editing, so this <laughs> will probably seem pretty basic if you're used to all the flashy stuff, but uh, I might see about getting into that later on. Uh, so I guess let's just go into the game. So. This is my character, John's Amazing. I named him that just because that's what I was on Sapphire, see if anybody recognized me. So the stats are Power, Physique, Wisdom, Agility, Dexterity, and Durability. My build so far has been 2 Agility, 1 Dexterity. And the reason why I do that is because... Uh, Agility and Dexterity both give Thief a lot of uh, stats. Agility gives uh, attack, evasion, and magic evasion, while Dexterity gives um, uh, attack, uh, physical accuracy, magical accuracy, a little bit of magic attack, I want to say, uh, and some crit uh, chance. So we're going to... We're probably going to continue with this build until 28 dexterity, because 28 dexterity is about where you stop getting crit chance from dex. Uh, crit chance is really important on the uh, classes that auto attack a lot, like thief or blade master or hunter. Uh, you could probably go with a dex build on uh, with a 28 dex build on quite a few classes. At that point, we're probably going to continue with Agi up to at least about 103. 103 reduces the cooldown. 103 agility ad reduces the cooldowns of all your skills by about 30%. Uh, aside from uh, like cross-class skills, which uh, have a higher cooldown in the first place. Um, at 103 Agi, we might go into power, or we might continue with Agi. Uh, the reason why you'd go power is that would be the maximum that would be the maximum amount of DPS you could do. It would increase your attack by the most. Uh, the next highest uh, attack stat for thief is going to be agility, which is why you might go into that instead. Uh, as far as maximizing your DPS, uh, power would definitely be the way to go. But if you wanted to do that, you probably wouldn't even bother with agility in the first place you'd probably just go uh, dex to 28 and then full power. But if you're leveling up, during leveling up you can be kind of squishy, especially when your main role is pulling. So I find that the evasion is, well in a team, your main role is pulling. And because of that I find the evasion is really useful. Uh, if you uh, at at 50 plus, I might go into a power build instead of the Agi, but it really it really just depends on uh, if you're playing with other people, that kind of stuff. If you can get buffs to make up for it. As far as skills go, Super Stab's a pretty good one. Stealthy Stab's also pretty good. Just basic damage skills. They do have kind of long cooldowns, so uh, you might skip out on them. It's really, as with everything, uh, you're going to want to decide based on your personal preferences. Uh, Swift Swallow Strike and Whirling Dervish are both AoEs. I don't find them to be particularly useful. 
Uh, I just don't really like AoE skills on the non-AoE classes. Um, AoE classes being Fencer, Dancer, Wizard, um, maybe Shaman. The Shaman ones aren't that great though. Uh, control Breathing and Rhythm of Life are alright. Um, if you have a higher level Doctor or Dancer, they both have buffs to give HP and MP that I'd probably use over these. But if these are the only ones you can get, I mean, they're fine. Premonition and Fighting Foresight are decent. Uh, at base they have about a 50% uptime, but after you have 103 Agi it's about 70%. Which is to say, 70% uh, of the time you'll be able to have those buffs up. Throw Knife and Light Hammer Throw are decent skills. They both have a 1.0 attack, physical attack to damage ratio on them. Which is, uh, for the most part, about as good as most of them will get. Uh, Bolt from the Blouse and Veiled Volley are pretty good. Veiled Volley can actually have a really high damage, but I've heard that it has a pretty low accuracy. So, it, it's definitely something to test. See if you can get it to hit often enough to get instead of Throw Knife and Light Hammer Throw. Ash Spray, I'd probably level to 5 just for Shadow Advance. Shadow Advance starts out uh, multiplying your damage by around 2, and uh, at max, at level 66, multiplies your first attack by 14 times, which is quite a bit. Um, fast Getaway and Run Amok are both utility, they're just for getting around quickly which is nice, but if you need the points elsewhere, I'd probably skip them. Those would probably be one of some of the first ones I'd skip, if you need the points elsewhere. Uh, hypnosis is uh, pretty cool, uh, but it, it's definitely not necessary for anything. Uh, play Dead's uh, nice, like say if you're an AoE team and your team's dying left and right, then it's probably worth it to get it. Uh, for occasions like that where getting that will save you the 10% lost XP. Uh, Pilfer's pretty cool, uh, use it to steal items. Um, it's really nice if you're an alchemist or if you want to sell the alchemy recipes because at uh, high levels they can definitely be worth quite a bit. Uh, I probably wouldn't put points in Pillage because it attacks, it does damage at the same time as stealing, which uh, is kind of bad because you generally want things at lower HP values, so attacking them at the same time might kill them. And you are, it's a skill that you already have one to do. Uh, its purpose is the same as Pilfer, so why use it when you can just use Pilfer instead and save the points? Um, yeah. But that's, I guess that's just kind of a preview of what I'd be doing in these uh, videos. Um, really any feedback would be awesome, because I'm, I'm not 100% sure uh, what I should be doing if this is the right way to go about it. Um, Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it quite a bit. Um, and I'd love to hear some feedback. So uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys later.